For many hams, learning how to program talk groups into the radio can be a source of frustration, but it doesn't have to be. If you're less familiar with talk groups, they are a way of organizing radio traffic on your network. You can manage your contacts via countries, states, regions, or cities. You can even organize it by unique interests or hobbies. But what if you want many talk groups added at one time? Hi, I'm Cody, W3AMG with BridgeCom Systems. Today, we'll be showing you how to quickly locate and add a talk group list into your Anytone 578 mobile and how to import it into your radio. Before we get started, let's first discuss how to find a talk group list. Okay, so first up, we are going to jump into our uh, programming software here, the CPS, and uh, I'm going to connect, make sure your radio is plugged in and turned on. Here we have it in COM3. And first, I'm going to read from the radio, uh, just read the other data, make sure I don't overwrite anything. There we go. And from here, I can go into open up the digital section. And you're going to click on contact slash talk groups. And then from here, you can see I only have one talk group. Now, in a previous video, we showed you how to manually add a talk group that maybe uh, isn't in a contact list or, you know, it's one that you found somewhere and you want to add a, a specific one. Uh, today, we're going to show you how to add a list. So first, you want to go ahead and open up your web browser. And there's a variety of places you can obtain this list. In this case, we're going to go to pystar.uk slash downloads slash anytone and download the full Brandmeister talk group list. Uh, now you want to make sure you get the one for anytone because not all of the lists will work with your radio. But this one will work with the anytone. And then go ahead and click here to start the download. And there we go, perfect. Uh, so now from here, we can go over to Tool, Import in the software, just hit OK. And then uh, we'll go find talk groups, contact slash talk groups. And then uh, go up to our desktop, which is where we saved it. And let's see. Here we go. There's the contact, the uh, talk groups list right here. Go ahead and open that. And then move this up a little bit. And then go ahead and click import. And just like that, it's going to import. Okay, there we go. And there you have it. You can see all of the talk groups are now imported into the radio. So we can scroll down here, see how many we have. Okay, so we have 1,588 talk groups we just imported. How cool is that? So that has just about everything you can imagine on there. Okay, now that we have our talk group list here, uh, we do actually want to uh, add it to a channel. Uh, obviously, you're not going to be able to use the talk group unless you add it to a uh, repeater channel. So you can do this either with a hotspot or a local repeater. I have one of my local repeaters here. Uh, and then basically just go into it and in the contacts section, we're going to select a talk group. Now you can select from any of these talk groups now. Uh, in this case, I'm going to select the parrot, which is a private call. Uh, now the way that uh, Pystar lays out this talk group list uh, isn't necessarily the greatest in terms of the layout, uh, but the cool part is it's always up to date. Whenever you click that button, it generates it. Uh, so you'll have the most up to date list. So we're gonna select the parrot uh, and then click OK. And there we have it. Now we can talk to the parrot on our local repeater. So now at this point, I'm going to uh, go back up here, make sure the radio is still plugged in, COM3, and write that to the radio. Just check the other data. We don't need to worry about the contact list in this portion. And there we have it. So let's check it out in the radio. Okay, so now we're going to take a look at the talk groups on the radio. So we go menu, talk groups, talk group list. And there we go. Wow, check that out. We have all those talk groups on our radio. Don't be discouraged if you don't figure it out right away. If you follow the steps in this video, there isn't any reason you shouldn't be able to enjoy the world of DMR. 
For an even more comprehensive overview of how talk groups work within DMR, click below to watch our in-depth introduction of digital mobile radio. Thanks again for watching 7.3.